Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. Happy New Year on this New Year's morning. We are here starting our second year of the Daily Cup. This year we're going to look at the books of wisdom. The books of wisdom are Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Job, and we're also going to throw in that mix Lamentations because even though Lamentations is part of the prophets, it's poetry and matches really well with the other books. We'll also throw in a couple of the Psalms that you can find in other books of the Bible because a Psalm is just a poem and there are some other poems throughout the Old Testament. All of these books can be found in the Old Testament. We're going to follow the same pattern we did when we studied the New Testament last year. Five days a week, five minutes of your time, you'll either have one psalm or one chapter from one of the other books. And the goal is for you to walk away with a better understanding of these wonderful, encouraging books that deal with everything from prosperity to adversity, deal with friends and enemies. They give us wisdom. They uplift us in times of trial. They are uh, such a, a, an insight into God's great and vast uh, wisdom into the heart of man. And with that in mind, we're going to start in Psalm 1 this morning. Psalm 1 contrasts the righteous and the wicked. The righteous, first of all, are not uh, always hanging out with the wicked. They're not always with the wicked. They are careful to uh, make sure that their time is spent around people that make them better people. It's the very same concept as 1 Corinthians 15, 33 that says bad company corrupts good morals. Uh, a righteous pe uh, person doesn't stand uh, in, in the place of the wicked. He doesn't walk with the wicked. He doesn't spend his life and his time associating with people who... Uh, who lead him away from righteous things. And instead, the righteous person is a sturdy person. And the comparison is made between a tree planted by the waters. The idea there is that a tree that's planted by the waters can get uh, water and nutrition to its root system regardless of the season, regardless of whether it's uh, wet outside or, or dry, the water continues to flow because a righteous person has consistent uh, food from God. On the other hand, the wicked are compared to chaff. And chaff is exactly the opposite of a tree planted by the waters. Chaff is that outer husk of, of any sort of grain, like wheat or barley or something like that. And it is, it is lightweight. It has, has no real value to it. It's not the edible part of the grain. And it will be very quickly blown away by anything. It's out of control. It's driven from place to place. And it has no intrinsic value to it. That's really what a wicked person is. And as God looks at the righteous and the wicked, God knows which is which. God can tell the difference between uh, uh, the wicked person and the righteous, and the righteous will stand and the wicked will be blown away. So please, please be one of God's people planted by his water. That's your daily cup, and we'll see you